welcome back welcome back welcome back welcome back even though i said i'm never gonna do welcome back to my channel but right i want to do a quick review of my <clears throat> insta 360 go to camera i haven't done a review i got it in me um i took it with me to cali so my video with the vlogs from cali a lot of the content was shot on this little thing like i love this camera um I did break it, so I had to send it back to Insta360. I got their care, and they replaced it for me. So I have, like, a brand new device. And, yeah, so <clears throat> let's jump right into it. I'm going to talk straight through it. This is what comes in the box, right? So this is the camera, which you can either mount it in um, the charging case, which is also a remote. You can mount it in this pivot stand. I should be a little bit more organized, right? This pivot stand that, you know, you can use to document. But also what I love about this, this sticks to any surface. And then you wipe it off and you cover it again and you can re-stick it to whatever surface. So if I'm cooking, I can stick it to the top of my cabinet, position my camera how I need to super innovative super convenient especially if you're a vlogger i love the fact that it's so small and discreet right and then for me i ride bike and i like to take videos of me willing this is the best feature especially for all my bike riders out there because instead of the the big chest rig that you have to wear with your gopro or the insta 360 1x all you have to do is wear this while you're riding and it's like you got the chest rig right on you and it's super light it doesn't bother you and like when you're moving around like it's not gonna be knocked off right so simple things and then you can also film inside the remote and now let's get into the settings on the remote right so you can set up it's connecting now and this is what connects to your phone so you're able to download the videos from here to your device you have about 28 gigabytes of memory on the camera to record. And then you have video, <clears throat> you have photo, you have pro video, you have time lapse, you have <clears throat> time lapse, HDR video, slow motion, and then the settings. In the settings, you can adjust the recording. Um, the recording what is that specs i don't know the proper terminology right so if you want to record either in a 16 by 9 ratio or a 9 by 16 in your video you can mess with it on here or in the app right so you can set your video settings to what it needs to be you use this to navigate the list the record button to select what it is that you're trying to do so like that's my video options right now for my video recording it's at 9 and 9 and 16 1080p and 50 frames per second for my photos it's a pure shot for my pro video it is 1080p 50 frames per second 9 by 16 right but with the pro shot what I like about this is if you record in pro when you're editing your videos on the camera you can select if you want it the 16 by 9 for YouTube, the 9 by 16 for your Instagram stories, or the 1 by 1 for your Instagram posts, which I think is more convenient than presetting because what I was doing before I knew about this feature is I would record in video with the setting for my Instagram story and then in pro video with the setting for YouTube and I'd have to record twice saying the same thing. That eliminates it, right? The only thing that I will say I complain about is the battery. The battery does dive quick when you're using it a lot, um, and it does take a little minute for it to recharge in the case. But besides that, I really love this camera. It's super convenient. <clears throat> I also bought adapters for my bike and stuff, and I don't even really use this. And you can like mount it on the invisible selfie stick that comes with the One X. Um, but yeah, five minutes or less. Why I love the Insta360 Pro camera because it's like a whole little film thing in your pocket to document your day. Super convenient. It's about the size of an AirPod case. So if y'all feeling the vibe, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. If you got questions, drop them in the comments and I'll respond back to them about the camera. Peace.